I think twisting around these again is going to open up a new area. I was mistaken. I get a save point here and throw down a quick save. There's a Moogle there, and I don't even think about, like, buying anything. Let's see. I find another lucky emblem, like, smack you no, in the I face, obvious. <sighs> and I'm, I just run around this room trying to figure out which way is the way to go. There might be something up there. I just jump up here and I I, I kind of like jump because I wasn't expecting to be ambushed by a bunch of pots. And I was questioning why Heartless decided to possess these pots or take a take the form of a pot. It, it just didn't make sense to me and I was and I finally got that to work for once. <laughs> I was so proud of myself yeah. that finally it worked once. I picked up that little ball of health or experience, whatever it was. Jumped up here. Jumped up here some more. And I thought I could break that for some reason. Cannot. Run around here a little bit more. Front into this room, seeing all these heartless or nobodies, that kind of stuff. Oh, I, it's, so I bring out the hammer in hopes that I can end this quickly. I really hope that this game has some of the worlds that I like from previous games. And I get hit by that, I was like, I swear I hit the dodge button. But the game was like, no, no, you don't get to hit dodge button. I didn't realize how cool that was the first time, but it's pretty damn cool. So that pops out of the ground. I, sp I spin it right round. And the entire place shifts again. And I thought it was ultra convenient that Lark Scene put us in a castle with the exact way of getting out. So I looked at this, I was like, do I have to go that way right now or. No, so I was like, nice. hmm. I pop a potion and I immediately re regret that. And I was like, oh hey, this is what it was. Except I can't dodge. Like, I actually can't dodge. And I just get beat up here and I was kind of annoyed. I go, I get into crisis here and I'm like, crap, 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 crap. I finally calmed down and I was able to heal myself. Yeah. I, I thought you could break those lights. I was mistaken. More of these nobodies. And this is kind of like... The thing... Why, why these nobodies? Why not other nobodies? And I was just, I don't even anymore. And that punk just comes out of nowhere and decides to spin kick me right to the freaking jaw. I wasn't having it, so he got freaking meteor crushed. Over. And that's what I call getting meteored. That guy gets it too. That guy was a jerk. I don't I don't get it. How can they attack? 
throughout my combos, but when I start getting comboed, I can't attack. And I get a risk dodge skill, which, knowing me, it'll never be used, but I equip it anyway. Spin that around, and it's an elevator up. And I was like, ooh, that's pretty. Well, that seemed to lock everything into place. I hope so. And it is. Kinda. So now I, I, I'm running around here trying to figure out what's the correct way to go, because it's just a circular room. Well, more of a uh, pentagon, but... You get my drift, it's just a round area. I grabbed this guy for some reason, and I just beat the crap out of him, but hey, it works. So here, I, I, I'm fumbling around in the menus because I suck. I re, I re-equip my potion. I'm sitting here trying to figure out what abilities I can and can't equip again. Because I got curious and all that good stuff. Heal. I decide to heal us all before possibly a big boss fight. If you ask me, I was right to do so. Another grind rail. And I get to a room with these things. And this was terrible. I was just thinking, this is an awful room. Because it's just these things, they attack you from off screen. You can't see where it's coming from. And that. And there's just so many of them. And they just fire so fast. I was like. I swore I was doing something where I could have avoided that. But again, game says no, so I just go into the corner and heal myself and immediately get knocked into the air. And during my combo, I just get stunned out of it. Twice. So I'm like, let's just blow these people up, and, or heartless up. So I flare with Donald. It doesn't really help. I level up there, but that that's literally just a, a positive in the sea of BS that I'm in right now. So I need to heal myself again. Forget Donald and Goofy. I mean, they can take care of themselves. They have items. Ah, there, there I go, just getting shot. These things are just so freaking annoying. They're terrible enemies. Just because I don't like them. And here's this person shooting. Donald's standing there with his jaw on the floor. I didn't even notice that in the recording. And here's, and here's these two. It's just like, come on. It, and then I'm like, okay, is there any... Now that everyone's dead, is there anything in this room? Anything worthwhile in this room? No. Nothing in this room. Yeah, and that just made me even more annoyed that they put such an annoying room and then gave nothing. So here I am getting a little bit lost. Just a tad bit lost. And I'm running between rooms and I hit the wrong button again. I come in here wondering what's in here. Basically nothing. I'm jumping around, breaking these things. I'm like, wait, what, where? Little did I know I was standing on it. I'm jumping around looking for it. I fail there, jump up in there. And I was like, see. this is kind of the highest point. Let's see if I can see it. I fall off there like a dumb, hit the wrong button again Let's like see. a dumb. So I'm sitting here looking all around looking for an implanted one and then, Got it. really? 
and so here is here's the point where I say wait this castle fortress thing was just built by Larxian a few minutes ago how did the king get in here and put his emblem down and nope out before we saw him that or Larxian has a thing for lucky emblem and she made them on purpose and it's like why why what was the point this must be the exit so I'm like finally I pick up that I pick up some more Damascus I'm like where does this go secret area so I use it and I find out oh it's an elevator and it just takes me down to the mid tier again I'm like okay let's nope out of here as I nope out I go back up and I've been playing so much Destiny 2 I tried to jump in through that and I'm like really I have to interact with it <sighs> that was a thing that kind of bugged me and here is give us a point where I think I need to cut it and go throughout and edit the rest of the video but I could be wrong I probably am it, no I'm not wrong but it's not yet see her I think she might have gone up in that direction what no not quite okay yet. come on It, and here's the point where I was like, Goofy, how do you know she went up this way? We've been in that tower for, what, several minutes to an hour, maybe, in, like, Kingdom Hearts time. And it's just like, why would she still be going that way? She could have turned around, went someplace else, made a turn. And, and I'm like, how? How would you know? I was just questioning it. it. It's video game logic. You, you should never question the video game logic. We can do it. Come on. And Donald was basically saying what I was saying. More climbing. More heartless. So I was just beating on these guys, trying to get experience. 52-17 for my next level up. I just get bodied there by that electric guy using his whips. Finally get my hammer. I go into critical mode again. Just because I'm bad. Donald uses cure on me. With a clutch. It's just a clutch cure. Maho Mushi Wall Run! Run up there. Smack that bush for no reason. I don't even know why I did that. I was looking where to go. I see over here. Wall Run up this again, which is cool. And then I come in across this, like, cave full of pots, and I'm wondering why. Why here? It, it doesn't make sense. I, I know that there, in Kingdom Hearts 2 there was a thing of jars. And I actually, I think I killed like one or two from down there. And here I get the hammer and just make quick work of this. That guy goes off the side. It's like rip and rip. Yeah. Uh, bash these guys Here we go. and I'm expecting something kind of lame in this Got him. and I, I I was like really come on so long. I kept I kept hitting triangle to open the chest but I was like no I'm just gonna use this ability no I was gonna use this ability and I get a guardian belt so I'm like I know who that's going on and I joked about it going on goofy And I throw it on Sora, and I'm sitting here trying to figure out, do I want to put it over 
the uh, shield belt or do I want to put it over the uh, abyss chain? And I realize that I may lose a little bit of defense, but I also gain 15% resistance to everything else. Let's so I was see. like, it's worth it. I hit the wrong button again. And here I am questioning my math that I'm doing in my head. <clears throat> and I figure out how to do that just by total accident. I didn't even pay attention to it really, like in the past, but when I found it there. I thought about it. It was pretty cool. And here I thought, oh crap, I'm going to fall. That is... The double jump is so useful. And I think I was questioning the bats. I don't remember exactly what I was talking about, but... I think I was questioning about why they were here, what they were doing. And I got kind of disappointed there because I wanted to Thundaga that bat out of the air just for the memes, but it got killed before I could. And I was sad. And here I find this cave. Go through it. More wall runs! And then more Heartless. And I think at this point I was like, really? More Heartless. But hey, I, I like it. It's not a cutscene. That's for sure. I hate cutscenes, dude. Not, not that they're bad, it's just that there's too m There's a ton of them, and they last a long time. And I Sure, the early parts of Kingdom Hearts 2 were like that, but... I don't remember it being that bad, like, later on. And I feel like I'm still pretty early game. Yeah. Maybe mid game, seeing how I'm getting up into the 30s. Or level 30s and that kind of stuff. I'm like, I'm sitting here thinking, who, who needs potions? And I kind of regretted using one. I could have just went into stock and did it. So that way I didn't have to futz around in more menus. Just wall run up here. I fail somehow. I fail again somehow. I finally make it. And this is where I'm going to have to cut it to mute the audio.
Alright. <clears throat> so now that that's over... Um... Yeah, you guys would not have wanted me to have done that originally. Because the entire time I was just wow. screaming, stop. I don't stop, know what we just stop. saw, but... Wow. That was Elsa? Yeah. Hey, that gives a and yeah. a lot happier, too. Yeah. Let's say hi. Nah. Nah, mate. Nah, that's like, not a very good idea. And... Please don't tell me miss, that you're I hate spying your on her back. now. Oh, Larkseen! Uh, don't turn this around on us. You're following her. Ooh, look at you get all sassy. Yeah, he's just kind okay, of a smart ass. I'll admit. Elsa is a person of interest to us. Maybe she's one of the seven pure lights we need. The new seven hearts. Gotta make sure, though. Long Fortunately, exposition. we're in the best position to tell. Can't pick out that special glimmer unless you're standing in the shadows. And maybe Elsa doesn't have it. I mean, just look how icy her palace is. Made of magic, she forced herself to keep hidden until now. So, what if it's dark magic? Elsa would never rely on the darkness. Actually, it's still too early to call. Depends on how she sees it. If she believes her magic is darkness, that's what it will become. Accepting her power, whatever it is, is the only way she can set her heart free. So what will Elsa accept? Light or darkness? I know I want to know. I want to know, too. Well, good for you, but guess what? I won't let her fall to darkness. It's it her works. choice to make, not yours. You know, I'm starting to understand why she gave you the cold shoulder. Wind blast! <laughs> You want to help her? Then stop trying to be her hero. Let her figure things out her own way. <laughs> yes, yeah, or stop trying to white knight for her. She's not going to sleep with you. Plus, you got Kyrie. And off the mountain they go. What's with them falling off of things? Seriously. Seriously, I, I, I want to know what's with them and falling off things or getting tossed around like ragdolls. It seems to be a recurring trend. <sighs> so here we are, face down in the snow. Huh? Donald! Goofy! Are you okay? <laughs> At least Donald's okay. okay. Goofy six feet under. Oh, good. How is he talking? I think we should probably go check on Elsa. Nah. And make sure Larkseine was wrong about her magic. Yeah. But don't you tell her what Larkseine said? Huh? Why not? Well, to keep the order. Yeah, order. Oh, okay. You know, I actually kind of stopped paying attention to that cutscene. I didn't hear what they said the first time. Wait, fellas. Do you hear that? Oh, huh? no. I, I remember this. Huh? This is not fun. I was just complaining about this the entire time. It, it was not... It was not good. Well, climb aboard! Right! Here we go! I was like, that's not an avalanche, that's a heartless. That's several heartless. And, and so we have to sled down this mountain here. I got this! And I, I was like, oh, this is pretty fun. 
and then I realized quickly that it's it's not. I, so the first few minutes of this here is me trying to get a hang of the controls of and what I'm trying to do and all that good stuff, you know. And then I realized quickly that this is kind of bullshit. So I, I jump over a couple. And I'm, I'm like, this isn't so bad. And then it's just like, yep, nope. Stunned into that one. Jumped over that one. Jumped too early. That guy rams me somehow. Jumped over that one. And here's where my monitor being old kind of sucks. I can't, I couldn't really see what was going on during this entire thing. And it was, it made this big pain in the ass an even bigger pain in the ass. And those guys just wouldn't hit me for the virtue I was where I was just sitting. And uh, this was dumb. I get hit by that. I get hit by that. I get hit by that. And it's like, no matter what I do, I'm getting hit. And, and watching it now, it, it's kind of just me being incompetent. That's what I get for recording and trying to commentate at the same time. Let's play Curse and all that, you know? And somehow they make it down before I do. I was also kind of upset that I used my uh, Koopa coin or whatever it's called. Yeah, on something that I really didn't need to use it on. And. Careful, Sora! Yeah. This, the entire time, they're just saying, Careful, Sora! Watch where you're going, Sora! And it's like, this thing controls like a donkey. Like, the controls on this stupid shield are terrible. It's like, I was... If I hold too much of the stick over, it drifts. It drifts too much. But when I lightly tap it, it doesn't drift enough. There's no sweet middle spot that I could find. It's either you overcorrect or you undercorrect. And either way, you're going to hit something. Just because this thing controls poorly. And I think I was saying I want to punch the guy in the mouth that QA tested this. Because he didn't do his job correctly. It's like, uh, guys, this thing handles like ass. You think we can change that up to make the controls a little bit... I, I... I don't know, like, find an in-between, like... It felt stiff at some points, and other points it just felt too loose. And it's just like, where's that happy middle ground? Why didn't they call it Nintendo or get the guy that designed the, uh sledding mechanic for Breath of the Wild or Twilight Princess to come do this. If you ask me, those are probably superior to what this was. Look who's back. And then I have to fight these bozos with all the health I lost on the way down the mountain. So I'm sitting here trying to run away. And try to figure out the best plan of attack. And, and this guy just puts a wind tunnel up on his head so I can't hit him. And I make a comment that these guys are like uh, Kushala Deora from Monster Hunter. They kind of look like him, a little bit. I'm not saying they look at all similar, but they look kind of similar? It, it, it's weird the what I'm trying to say here, but... They had... The wind attack kind of reminded me of Kushala, so... That's what made me think of it. 
So I pull out the yo-yos, thinking that this would be a little bit better because it's a bigger enemy. And even though there's three of them, I can still do single target. And here I use the finisher on him a little early, which I probably shouldn't have. I use this to get myself out of trouble. And somehow that actually works. I get knocked up. I'm able to get the healed off somehow. I just chased this guy and I figure I might as well use this a little bit. I just kind of shooting at both these guys, trying to avoid getting hit. I think I ended up killing that one. Yeah. There we go. Oh yeah, and uh... Oh, this is the double jump. I thought I had it earlier for some reason. Mobby. That's what I get. Yeah. I'm starting to wonder how those guys are still alive, because I killed three of them. There was only three. Where'd those other two come from? And we get murked by the avalanche. Boring old loading screen. I thought they fixed these. Wow, look at all the pretty colors. There's blue and green. Ooh, I love green. And look, black. Ah, just like my button. <laughs> hmm? Silly spiky grass. Give me back my foot. And this is where I was saying Sora needs to turn down the pro tag a little bit. <laughs> he's, he's literally got the anime pro tag hair. A snowman? And I was thinking that uh, Olaf was robbing us of our clothes, or someone was. I was like, are we being robbed of our clothes? Because that seems to be a thing. Whenever you find someone huh? unconscious uh, like that, it's like the first thing that happens that is they like, steal their clothes. No, ma'am? Yeah, and here's the funny thing. He was walking and talking. Huh? Huh? Everybody knows Snowman can't walk. You must have imagined it. Huh, I thought he was real. Well, maybe we'll see him again. But if we don't get going, we'll never reach Elsa's palace. Hmm. Oh, right. I almost forgot. Come on. <clears throat> I was also talking about uh, earlier in the video that you guys will never see because it, it's lost.